leaders and the blinkers going on him today. Ferrando, the pace in the race. Last year's winner, Signify to come in. Heroic Valor behind the line. Sacred Star, the winner in 2015. Who will it be? In 2018, the uh, last horses now, we have Signify, the southerner for Russia Kanin. A wonderful moment uh, this time last year. Shambord goes in. So Signify to come up, Heroic Valor to come up into the barriers. Box Lightning stands well, Sacred Star, Start Wandering. Sensai, Miss Wilson, passing shot. They're all in the gates. Carnival from the south. Ferrando to come up. Rock my soul loaded. Star Voya. Looks a quality horse. So Ferrando behind the line. Coey back behind the line as well. So much to look forward to here, folks. This is a proper horse race. So, Kelly, about to come in. Good luck to all of the connections with runners in the JR and N. Burkett Telegraph Group 1. We are privileged to have such a field assembled. Volpe Veloce to come up into the gates. Kelly goes in now. Ferrando to load. Ricando stands up. Rock My Soul stands up as well. Some of these have been in for just a little while now. All right, in goes Ferrando. Racing in the Telegraph, got them in a very good line as well, and beginning quickly here, passing shot in the middle of the line, goes up towards the lead when they settle down, and going with them as well as Ferrando. Then we've got Carnival going forward, Start Wandering, and Volks Lightning. In behind these runners then is Ricando and Star Voya. Back in behind those, Packing Eagle over in the, uh, or one off the rail, and Enzo's lad the inside. Then we have Rock My Soul, Vope Veloce getting back a little bit with Ricando, Miss Will. Wilson, Sacred Star, Signify, very wide with Sensai. Coey's a fair way back third from last year with Heroic Valor and Shambord as they run across the junction onto the course proper here. Ferrando down on the inside is the leader, Enzo's lad and passing shot. Carnival comes out and after them now. Packing Eagle is there as well. Star Voya, Volks Lightning right down the outside with Signify. Ferrando on the inside, Enzo's lad comes after it. Passing shot comes after them and here's Heroic Valor. And here's Kelly. He's starting to fly. Enzo's lad's got the lead now. Enzo's lad and Sam Weatherly. Enzo's lad, the Southerners, do it again. Kelly second, Ferrando third. And then we had Heroic Valor passing shot, Miss Wilson. Sacred Star was the next to Rock My Soul Carnival. Shambord and Volpe Veloce. Then we had Packing Eagle. Sensei further away, start wandering, not on the call, Volks Lightning. Signify Star, Voya and Ricando. Number seven, Enzo's lad for Team Pittman and Sam Weatherly at $74.30 and $16.30 the place. Coey sprouted wings that last bit, but Enzo's lad, who had a nice run behind Ferrando, has held him out. Ferrando fought well. It'll be the third of them in, passing shot into Heroic Valor. The next two here had a nice run. Sam Weatherly, gorgeous ride, tracked the speed, was able to get out and have a shot at Ferrando. And momentarily, Coey, who was flying at the finish, but he kept rolling this fellow by Testarossa out of sheer armor. And uh, Sam Weatherly gets group one glory here. And the South Islanders, two years in a row, signify last year Enzo's lad this year has given the punters a broken jaw, but has done it in real style. Coey tried hard, and Ferrando over on the uh, inside. It was a wonderful race, but those in or near the lead throughout, uh, barring Coey, have uh, been able to do the job. It'll be a pretty proud moment, I'd imagine, here for Sam Weatherly and uh, Emily Boston is about to chat to him now. What a moment. Thanks, Tony. I've got a very excited uh, Sam here beside me. Uh, Sam, this must just be all of your dreams come true. That's it, Emily. Um, ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be a jockey. And, um, oh boy, oh boy. This is the main stage, you know, to win a group one. And down here at Trenton Telegraph, 
It was such a rich race today too. Um, look, I, I was more than happy to be on him too because he won the Pegasus in style and sort of things just didn't go quite right with him last start. It was a very hot field, but I knew if he had all the luck, we could do it. And today, he's got all the splits when we needed. And um, look, he's had a good look at the winning post and had a good look around, but gee, what can I say? I'm over the moon. I've just got to thank my manager, Mark Clayton, and uh, obviously Michael and Matthew Pittman and the, and the owners too. So um, oh, I'm over the moon. Let's just get into the race and a little bit of nitty gritty. You said you got the splits at the right time. When he jumped out and got into that trailing position, you were pretty happy? Oh, I knew I was following a horse that would take me into it for a very long way. And Ferrando uh, sort of got there too soon because I've been off Ferrando and he's he started looking all over the show. But uh, look, he just he, he knuckled down when, it, when he needed to. So uh, look, I just got to thank him. <laughs> Well done, Sam. I'm sure you'll remember this day for a long time. Oh, cheers, Em. Massive win for Sam Weatherly, a first group one, and another man enjoying that is Matthew Pittman. Matthew